If I wasn't a threat to the devil, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he wouldn't waste his time. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. All right. If I wasn't special to God, on, how would I know what he's willing to do for me? Yeah. We know what he's able to do. Uh -huh. The word says all things are possible with Christ's respect. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So we know what he's able to do. But how could you know what he's willing to do until you've been placed in a situation where you yeah. can't get to do it for you? Yeah. If you haven't been somewhere where you need God to, 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 to get you out of the situation, you wouldn't yeah. know yeah. what he's willing to do for you. We know what he's able to do, but we, we, we won't know what he's willing to do until we're there. Wisdom. So I say, miracles only happen on a platform of a tragedy. All right. All right. Amen. Miracles only happen on a platform of a tragedy. Yeah, it's so tragic. If there's not a difficult situation, if there's not a situation that you that you can't possibly see getting through on your own, then where's the potential for the miracle? Yeah. Uh -huh. If it wasn't that difficult, it would be just another situation that yeah, you got through. A little bit of time, but because it was it was something something bigger than you, something that 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 that, that you know took more than you to get you through. Because it was that, I'm not saying that 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 that, that God made these situations happen, but He allowed them to happen yeah. just so He can show you. Yeah. What he's Difficult situations. Uh -huh. I praise God for difficult yeah. situations. I thank God for difficult situations. Yeah. It's through these difficult situations that I see what He's going to do for me. Yeah. On a daily basis. On a daily basis. On a daily basis. Man, they get rough. I praise God. They go wrong. I praise God. That he can't get me through. There's nothing that he can't get me through. So I thank him for every opportunity that's presented for me to see what he's willing to do for me. Thank you. Thank you. I thank you for the opportunity. The best thing that we can hope for, the most important thing we can hope for, or pray for, or ask for, is that our desires coincide with God's will. Because at the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, it's going to be God's will. It's always going to be God's will. You try to understand what his, you know, why he does what he does, and he's going to end up with a headache. Just do the right thing. Do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Please, he asked these. Three. There is a season for everything and a time for every matter under the heavens. A time for giving birth and a time for dying. A time for planting and a time for uprooting what was planted. A time for killing and a time for healing. A time for tearing down and a time for building up. A time for crying. Well, fuck no that weapon Run that shit down, we shall prosper. So it don't matter what they try, it don't matter what they think, it don't matter what they attempt, we are gonna prosper. Let me say, no. My nigga from 100. <laughs> God had his hand on me since before the womb. I didn't know what that meant until I read the Bible. I didn't know what that meant until I read the Bible. He had his hand on me since before the womb. You think I started in the womb? He had his hand on me since before the womb. Like, oh, this nigga is gonna do this. He's gonna make this happen. You don't touch this person. You don't touch these people. Yo, I, 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 am, I am God's child. I am God's child. I am God's child. It hurts sometimes. Always a bit. It hurts sometimes. Family, man. But it is what it is. Run that it is. It don't matter. It don't matter. 
Run that shit. Come on, son. Run that shit. Run that shit. I am a warrior for the Lord. I'll tell you straight up, nigga. I'll fuck you up in the name of Jesus. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. I'll beat the shit off, nigga. In, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm a warrior for the Lord. Amen. He made me a warrior before he made before I took my first breath. I was a warrior. Yes, sir. The Lord. I will never be anything other than that. And, and, and I, I had to hit the bottom just so I could. Romans chapter 7 verses 23 through 25 But I see another law in my members Warring against the law of my mind And bringing me into captivity to the law of sin Which is in my members O wretched man that I am Who will deliver me from this body of death I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord So then with the mind I myself serve the law of God But with the flesh The law of sin Rapper DMX Has passed on Earl Simmons was born in Mount Vernon, New York, on December 18, 1970. The son of 19-year-old Arnett Simmons and 18-year-old Joe Barker, and was raised in nearby Yonkers. Earl was the second child of Arnett, who had given birth to a daughter, Bonita, two years prior, as well as one daughter, Shayla, and two stillborn sons after Earl. Barker did not want Simmons to keep custody of Earl and cut off almost all contact with the family as soon as Earl was born. As a child, Simmons suffered greatly from bronchial asthma, being taken to the emergency room almost nightly due to him waking up unable to breathe. He was raised as one of Jehovah's Witnesses, but became disillusioned with the faith after his mother rejected a possible settlement. Stemming from an incident where he was hit by a drunk driver while crossing the street, and in which he suffered minor injuries. A while after the incident, a representative of the insurance company representing the driver who had hit him went to his house to try to reach an agreement with his family so that they would not sue. He claims his family could have received as much as $10,000 from the legal settlement, but that his mother refused to open a case as she claimed the faith taught them to be self-sufficient. Simmons went through a disjointed childhood that included being beaten by his mother and her various boyfriends so badly that he lost teeth and sustained numerous bruises and cuts on his face. When Simmons was five years old, his family settled in Yonkers, New York. At the end of the fifth grade, Simmons was kicked out of school and sent to the Julia Dickman Andrus Children's Home for 18 months. When he was 14, Simmons began wandering the streets of Yonkers to escape his mother's abuse and eventually found comfort in befriending stray dogs that walked the streets at night. Shortly after he began doing this, his mother once again sent him to a boy's home. During his stay at the boy's home, Simmons bonded with other students from New York over their shared love of hip-hop music. After performing for his friends, they encouraged Simmons to continue writing music at the behest of his teacher. When he returned home, Simmons met Reddy Ron, a local rapper, who, impressed with Simmons' beatboxing skills, asked him to become his partner. Simmons chose the name DMX, which came from an instrument he had used at the boy's home, the Oberheim DMX drum machine. It later was also interpreted as Dark Man X. This shortly after would lead to the beginning of a very successful rap music career. However, he had several dark moments, having battled with alcohol and hard drugs like crack cocaine, a reflection of his somewhat violent domestic upbringing, which began to manifest in his adult life and Simmons found himself being caught in a dark web of sexual scandals, violation of paroles, and constantly was arrested. Because of his tumultuous lifestyle, and he was convicted and put in jail several times, the Bible says that the thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy, but I am come that they might have life and leave it more abundantly. DMX was a Christian and stated that he read the Bible every day. In prison, DMX stated that he had a purpose for being there. I came here to meet somebody. I don't know who it was, but I'll know when I see him. And I came here to give him a message. And that message is Jesus loves them. 
DMX was a transitional deacon in the Christian church and aspired to become ordained as a pastor, stating that he received this call in 2012. Rapper DMX led thousands of his followers in a Bible study over the weekend in hopes to calm down the anxiety brought on by the novel coronavirus pandemic. The Instagram live video reached 14,000 viewers while live and then thousands more after as Earl Simmons, better known by his stage name DMX, recited scriptures from the book of Ecclesiastes while holding a cigarette a time for embracing and a time to avoid embracing, he said in his iconic raspy voice talking about social distancing, a time for embraces and time for avoiding embraces. The New York native, who admittedly has lost people to COVID-19, told his audience to keep the faith and believe in the will of God. At the end of the day, at the beginning of the day, it's going to be God's will, DMX continued. If you try to understand why he does what he does, you're just going to end up with a headache. Just do the right thing. He encouraged the thousands watching to get their lives right with God and follow Jesus. The mainstream rapper has never shied away from sharing his Christian faith, and his recent Bible sent his fans into a holy frenzy. Many of them thanked him for leading people to Christ. Others asked for more Bible studies. The hip-hop artist, whose lyrics are sometimes vulgar, has recorded several songs talking about his Christianity, including Lord, Give Me a Sign, and Damien. DMX has openly said in the past that he wants to become a pastor. In a video posted on Facebook in 2016, he stated that his dream of becoming a minister is slowly becoming a reality. The video showed the MC behind a pulpit preaching about the miracle that is birthed from tragedy. If I wasn't a threat to the devil, he wouldn't waste his time. If I wasn't special to God, how would I know what he's willing to do for me? We know what he's able to do. The word says, all things are possible through Christ who strengthens. Amen. DMX exclaimed, so we know what he's able to do. How can you know what he's willing to do until you've been placed in a situation where you need him to do it for you? If you haven't been somewhere where you need God to get you out of the situation, you wouldn't know what he's willing to do for you. We know what he's able to do, but we won't know what he's willing to do until we're there. The hip-hop recording artist has had many public mishaps from a drug overdose to various arrests, and in his sermonette he said tragedy is in fact what has brought him closer to God. So now I embrace difficult situations. I praise God for difficult situations because through these situations I see what he's willing to do for me. On a daily basis, if it gets rough I praise God. It goes wrong, I praise God. It goes left. I praise God. I praise God because there's nothing that he can't get me through. So I thank him for every opportunity that is presented for me to see what he's willing to do for me. DMX concluded on April 2, 2021, at approximately 11 p.m., Simmons was rushed to a hospital in White Plains, New York, where he was reported to be in critical condition following a heart attack at his home, possibly resulting from an overdose. The next day, his attorney, Murray Richman, confirmed Simmons was on life support. That same night, tabloid journalism outlet TMZ, who first reported on the hospitalization, stated that Simmons had suffered oxygen deprivation to his brain. As paramedics attempted to resuscitate him for 30 minutes, Simmons' former manager, Nakia Walker, said he was in a vegetative state with lung and brain failure and no current brain activity. His manager, Steve Rifkin, stated Simmons was comatose and that he was set to undergo tests to determine his brain's functionality, which would allow his family to determine what's best from there. On April 9, 2021, Simmons had reportedly lost functionality in multiple essential organs, including his lungs. Simmons was pronounced dead later that day, age 50, according to a statement released by his family. May his soul rest in peace. This is not a time to judge. Through his online Instagram ministrations to his followers, he won more people to Christ than most people will ever do.
At this time, rather than wonder which part of eternal life he ended up in, pray for the peace and unity of his family. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? If your answer is no, you must realize that Christ will come again to judge the living and the dead. Repent and receive Jesus Christ today as Lord and receive mercy and peace that no one, not even any possession, can give you. God bless you. Kindly meditate on this scripture, Luke chapter 13 verses 29 through 30, and people will come from all over the world, from east and west, north and south, to take their places in the kingdom of God. And note this, some who seem least important now will be the greatest then, and some who are the greatest now will be least important then.